Welcome back to TGTV, more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, today, welcome back to a long awaited episode of Crep Chat. And I'm going to go into my trainer collection. To celebrate the return of Crep Chat, then, I'm actually teaming up with Klarna to tell you about their sneaker raffle with a number of sneakers actually curated by High Snobiety. Anyone who knows their stuff will know High Snobiety, so I don't need to go into that. But there's a number of super, super rare trainers in there. There's Yeezy 750s from 2015, there's Presto Mids from 2016, there's Arsham 4D. Futurecraft Adidas's and there's some other shoes as well in that sneaker wrapper. That is with Klarna and that is a really cool way to bring back Crep Chat. You'll see more of it on my Instagram as well and you'll probably see the details how to enter on Instagram as well. Without further ado then, I'm going to introduce, I'm going to bring back Crep Chat from none other than YouTube Square and my Ferrari F12. So what I've done is I've brought my collection with me, some used, some boxed, the most hyped pieces. I'm going to go into what I've bought, why I've bought them, how much they're worth now, how much I paid for them, and kind of how much use they get, how I wear them, and all the rest of it. So you'll see a mix of shoes. Some of them are brand new, and some of them have been worn. So please don't tell me off uh, for not showing you brand new shoes. These are my actual shoes that have been on my actual feet. Um, so yeah, I don't want any whining about them. So without further ado then, I've got my F12 parked up here. I've got the Crep Chief Notify lads with me as well. Lads, 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 hang hanging around. But you can see here, my F12. I thought I'd bring a car with a big boot, and there pretty much isn't a car with a bigger boot than my F12. A very big booted, sensible, practical car for a very sensible, practical video. So here we go then. I'm just gonna dive straight in here then. And as I say, actually some of these models here, including the Wotherspoons, I can see in there there, they're actually in Klarna's sneaker raffle as well. So really, really sought after. Probably one of the best releases of all time, I would say, the Wotherspoons. They're actually in Klarna's raffle anyway. So I'm gonna dive straight in then. I'm gonna go from a uh, clockwise I think so I'm gonna stop top left there and go around all the releases and I might actually boys I might actually uh, enlist your help on some of these because you know the market a bit better than I do sneaker wise in terms of values I can see I can see Tom there sneaking away in the background don't think you're getting away with this <laughs> don't think you're getting away with this there will be a channel coming with these lads and a supercar purchase with Crypt Chief Notified very very soon however we're here to talk about my collection today lads is that all right or not really I know you're very busy, so I won't hold you too long, I promise. So, top left then. We're just gonna, as I say, we're just gonna dive straight in. So then these orange monstrosities, these have been worn actually. I wore these actually once on Halloween, I think, because they're orange and they've gone uh, called the pumpkins or whatever they are. These are blazer off-white collabs, Virgil Abloh's. Uh, how much are these boys on the resale market these days? Are they, are they worth? 800. 800 quid? I think I paid 250 for them, maybe? Hell, maybe I should look after them a bit better. Right then, you, these are Yeezy 700s. I've worn these quite a lot. How much are these? 300. 300 quid. Lovely. If you can even find a pair. So I've actually got loads of pairs of these, but when I left my job, I left four pairs of them at the office. I need to go and get them. So these are kind of the surviving pair, but I've got the, uh, the teal ones and some other nonsense going on as well. These ones are a bit controversial. They wear a bit like socks, but they, these are not worth anything, are they? No. Not happy with them, are you? Nope. Sorry about that. Oh Boys, do I have to apologize for these? They're, they're very comfortable. They're good for kicking a football around as well. But they're literally like a, like a, a sock. They are ISDAs, I think, or ISPAs, something like that. If you, if you can find them, then uh, they won't be much because there was no hype on them whatsoever. These then, 350s. 350s, I mean, they've done a million and one variants. Are these the reflective ones or non-reflectives? Uh, non-reflective ones. Non-reflective. They're non-reflectives the better ones to get? They're cheaper. A lot cheaper. They're a lot cheaper. They're exactly the same as they look exactly the same. So those are 350s. They've been done to death, but they're still a very, very popular shoe. Uh, I don't really wear them, as you can see. These now, these are controversial. I remember wearing these for the first time at the Autosport show, and people went ape at me. They actually glow in the dark. So these are actually the Yeezy 700 V3s. The cream bit you can see, the webbing on the outside there, actually glows in the dark. A preposterous pair of shoes. Really, really ugly, and I love them. These are, these are relatively expensive, aren't they? Uh, yeah, seven, eight hundred quid. Seven or eight hundred quid for those as well. I mean, they are they are actually terrible, but I love them. Uh, Sakai waffles. Now I've got another pair there as well. But these shoes, I mean, these are wedged now, aren't they? Yeah. They did extremely well. Six hundred odd quid. Really cool. Archie Hamilton has a pair of these though, so they're probably worth zero now. Uh, in fact, people are probably being paid to, to even take them now because Archie has a pair. I've got a white pair as well that are slightly less horrendous, but really cool shoe. Probably one of my favorite releases from Nike is the Sakai Waffle. Really cool shoe. My worst pair of shoes I think I own and that I've worn once in, a, in an Instagram promotion for, uh, I can't even remember who it was, um, these off-white uh, fly zooms. I, to be honest with you, even if I don't get the name right, it's not important because nobody cares what they are. They are awful 
awful, awful shoes. How much are these? 350. I mean, I mean, I'd sell them. If, if anyone wants them for 350 quid, you can have them because they are awful. In here, then we've got some slightly more battered shoes. We've got some Air Max 90s off whites. How much were they? Over a grand now. Over a grand. I mean, this pair obviously isn't because I've worn them to death, but over a grand for a fresh pair of those if you can find them. Now, this pair here, I actually paid 39.99 for from a very well-known high street retailer online. I, I think they're called the Technos. Cheap shoe, basic shoe, uh, but you can get them in all white as well. And kind of really kind of that, that kind of dad trainer look, but on a budget. Cool pair of shoes, and I do actually wear these quite a lot. They're a little, uh, little bit battered. The other one at home is actually more battered than that one somehow. We've got Travis's in there, Travis 270s. Uh, Travis Scott teamed up uh, with, uh, with some trainers and then made those ones. They're actually very, very ugly. And they're about 700 quid as well, I think. Oh no, maybe about 500 now. Travis 270s, 500? 500. See, these guys are just the market. They've got the prices on tap. You know, you lose touch for a week and the prices change, but these guys are on it. We've got more off-white 90s then. What are, what are these like, coming in at? Over a grand for a fresh pair? Yeah, probably not. I mean, they're hell. They've been out for a number of years now, but um, yeah, very cool shoe. And they've aged actually really, really well. More bizarrely then in here, we've got some Stone Island Nike ACGs. These are actually Gore-Tex uh, weatherproof ones. These are actually my dog walking, like hiking shoes. Uh, as I say, they're waterproof. They are actually Stone Island, I'll show you. They were an official Stone Island collab. They're terrible, uh, but that's not the point. We've also got some uh, black 500s in here. Love the 500s. And I've also got a pair of uh, salt ones in the box down there somewhere. Uh, but Yeezy 500s, cool pair of shoes, very comfortable. And they kind of go well with everything. They're one of these shoes that look horrendous off the feet. Then when you see them on, they make a lot more sense. Coming through then, more Nike off-whites, vapor knits, vapor knits, whatever they are. Vapor Max, there we go. They're probably nudging a grand as well. Now, one of the latest pairs of shoes I actually bought was this, the Stussy Spiridon Nike collaboration. And you see Stussy on the back there. Really kind of different looking pair of shoes and this very nice like woven fabric. Very nicely made pair of shoes. Now I bought these on a whim. I think I only paid a few hundred quid for them. Prep Chief Notify. Um, but these are now around 500 odd quid for men's sizes and I think the women's sizes are about 600 quid so really cool shoe and they were actually released in a lot fewer numbers than people thought so cool shoe I like them and I haven't destroyed them yet so um that'll happen soon I'm sure we've got another pair of uh vapor zooms I can't, can't remember them vapor maxes now one of my favorite shoes of all time the Sean Wotherspoon Nikes these are cash they're kind of like iconic now already despite only being out for a few years uh, and what's a fresh pair of Wotherspoons, boys? 1,300. 1,300 quid! And so these actually feature in the Klarna sneaker raffle. 1,300 pound shoes. Um, so make sure you can enter and you could win a pair of Wotherspoons. And these look set to continue going up in value. If you keep them in good nick, they're going to go up in value. So really cool pair of shoes. And um, yeah, one of my favorite releases from Nike of all time. And that actually applies to a lot of people as well. People love the Wotherspoon, so super cool pair of shoes. I've also got some other nonsense in here. I do own other pairs of shoes. I've got Balenciagas and some other nonsense, some Chanel rubbish. I'm just kind of zooming in on the Nike and Adidas stuff at the moment. So I've actually got some stuff in here that's rubbish. They actually challenge the pink ones. I brought a, a Spectrum here, some stuff that I absolutely hate. These are just, I mean, that's supposed to be like a toe from a skeleton or something. I've actually worn them, the shame of it. What do you make of these boys? Do you like these? Terrible. Terrible, there we go. How much are these? Minus numbers? Losing me money. <laughs> Losing me money. Um, I actually found those in the wardrobe before coming out today. I didn't intend to still uh, have them in my possession, but they are still in my apartment. And I think I've got some Yeezy salts in here as well. We've got salts brand new with the tags on. What, what are these worth? Are these good? Uh, men's sizes, probably like three, four hundred. Three or four hundred quid. I mean, that's a hell of a lot of money for some nonsense shoes. So there we go. We've got we've got a nice cross section of my collection there. As I say, there are some Chanel stuff about. Some Balenciaga Triple S's, I've got a few pairs of those. Uh, I don't wear them anymore. I think they were kind of a very fast in and fast out shoe. I've got a couple of pairs of Balenciaga Tracks, uh, Tracks and Track 2's. Again, I think they're pretty much on their way out already, so I don't really wear those too much anymore. Upcoming releases then, boys. I want to know what's, uh, what's good. What, what's coming out soon that we should keep our eyes peeled on? Uh, the Yeezy Zion 350's. Zion 350's, Yeezy 350's. A logo release at the end of the season from Supreme. Motion logo, that's coming as well soon. Motion logo from Supreme? So some supreme drops. What about trainers-wise? Anything? Huh? Some, a load of dunks coming out soon. Some dunks. Oh, I've got some uh, Ben & Jerry's on my feet as well. They're total hell. What do you make of the Ben & Jerry's? Are they good? People's favourite show of the year. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How much are they? 
<laughs> Over a grand. Chaos, I better not uh, smear them or anything. Absolute chaos. Uh, but the Ben and Jerry's are hell. Um, and I would actually say that they don't really look good with anything. Um, I, don't, I haven't seen anyone pulling off Ben and Jerry's so far. They look horrendous. That dog is chaos. Bedlington Terrier, I believe. How much did the dog resell? Priceless. Good answer. I wanted to actually just touch on something that's in the boot of this car. It's very, very rude, actually. This is, what, Supreme Rimoa? How much is that? That is hell. Two grand. And this was sourced on Crep Chief Notify. That is hell. So two grand for that. If you put that in the hold of an aircraft, then, is that coming back? <laughs> Probably not. If I worked in the baggage handling department, I would uh, be snaffling that at once. Right then, crep chat concluded. It is now time for me to disappear off and get on with whatever it is I do during the day. So, for now, thank you very much to Klarna for supporting this crep chat episode and bringing it back. If you want to see more of these, do let me know. Before I go then, I just want to say, make sure you join the sneaker raffle right now and of course make yourselves aware of what Klarna is all about. Klarna are the guys that allow you to pay in three stages across thousands of online stores. You'll probably no doubt be aware of what Klarna is already for the avoidance of doubt it's worth clarifying that. For now though that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching from the Crep Chief Notify guys as well. Give us a wave lads. I don't know why I'm over here. There we go they're waving. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Hope you're all well and I'll see you all very soon. <laughs>